<laughs> Just get a feel for the clutch. Okay, thank you, Graham. Oh, I see what you mean about the handbrake. I thought that. Right, thanks, Boaty. Cheers, buddy. Take care. Bye. Thank you. So tomorrow we'll have a, a much more in-depth look around, walk around and uh, for those who don't know I'll give you a few more details on the specific model and why this is um, potentially a unique car. Good, but he's a nice guy. Sorry, Mr. Boaty. To make YouTube videos with. Oh, you had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. Right, my lovelies. So, what do we have here exactly? We have an MGF Freestyle. Now, the Freestyle was introduced in autumn of 2001 as a sort of last of the line, throw everything at it, try and get them out of the showrooms before the MGTF was launched in February 2002. So, what did the Freestyle have over the standard model? Well, you got this front splitter, a la the Trophy. And again, similar to the Trophy, you get this boot-mounted rear spoiler which is quite imposing and you got the 16 inch hairpin alloy wheels now it should be noted that both internally and externally all of the additional options on the freestyle were pretty much cosmetic Mechanically, they remained unaltered. Although this particular example has been modified on an aftermarket basis, and we'll come to that in a short while. But to really see what sets the freestyle apart, we need to move inside the car. And it's a bit warm in there today, so I think we'll put the hood down. Which is a very easy task on one of these. Simply undo the two clips, one there, and one there. The hood will then simply fold back. Although, if you do have a plastic rear screen as opposed to glass, like this one here, then do be sure to unzip it first or Using your hand, fold it gently in the middle and do that even when the weather is warm as it is today. 
If this is your first time doing this, then you will probably find that the hood will get stuck in that position there. And what you need to do is, what you need to do is difficult to do with one hand and when you're holding the camera with the other hand. But the top bar, the first bar of the hood just needs to be pushed backwards and then the hood will fold down nice and flat. And if you have a tonneau cover uh, or a hood cover, you can then apply that to neaten things up. But let's look inside the car. Well, possibly the first thing you'll notice here is that we've got the full leather pack. We've got the full leather seats. We've got the leather armrest arrangement with the deeper cup holders, leather handbrake gaiter, leather gear lever gaiter, leather steering wheel, and leather and metal insert to the door cards. We've also got rear head mounted speakers for the onboard gramophone. And on this chap, we've got a very handy windbreak. Electric windows, both sides, aluminium gear knob, and electric mirrors. But what sets this car apart from any other MGF freestyle? Well, there's your big clue. Look at the registration. This is a 2003 registered car. In other words, it was registered 12 months or more after the model ceased to be current following the February 2002 introduction of the TF. And that makes Fanny here not just rare, but quite possibly unique, because to the best of my knowledge, this is the only 2003 registered freestyle left on the road. Other things that set this car apart are the fact that it's been fitted with an upgraded sports exhaust, which, if you watched yesterday's video, you probably would agree sounds pretty good. The induction has also been looked at and a K&N air filter has been fitted. The suspension has also been tweaked with the fitting of gas struts. The engine has been breathed on in a variety of ways to make sure that the performance is matching the specification, the looks and the sound. And as we settle into the wonderfully comfortable leather seats, we can see that there have been some sympathetic upgrades and modifications inside the car as well. TF dials have replaced the notoriously unreliable original MGF dials. And again here in the instrument cluster. There's a posh Bluetooth onboard gramophone with a flip down front. But recently the vast majority of the money that's been spent on this car has been spent where you can't see it, underneath. Of course, rust is the enemy of many a classic or modern classic car, and the MGF is no exception. Now, this fellow has been professionally stripped and all of the rust issues have been addressed. The subframes were removed and professionally welded and prepared, and everywhere else where needed, the rust has been treated and paint applied as necessary. So what you see here is a very solid, very together little car. And again, as I think the video yesterday showed, she drives fantastically. But the thing you need to know more than anything else about this fabulous little car is this, it's for sale. Would like to express his heartfelt appreciation to his amazing channel members. Alain Cirle, Project MGTF, Rosé Chicks, Chef Daniel, The Greenwood, Typhoon Cat, Richard Mahon, Dinosaur Dad, GPS OMG, Car Crazy Norwegian, Tricia Alderman, Black Lines, Classic Wheels Wells, Sha Brown, Jimmy Quinn, Joe Cox, Project Nigel, Joe Harwood, Underscore, Every Sincar, Mr. George Roger Botti, Saint QLG, Bad Books, Benny The Worst, 
Nigel Fleck, Air Dumpy Dump, Rob Brooks, Wet Legs Rear End, Houkton Classics, Holly Halls, John Moruzzi, Who Judge, General Cheeseburger, Pingu Concorde, Psychonaut 7, Kevin U, Mickey Jeffries and Neil Gibbon. Your support means the world to him, your all fucking legends and they thanks you from the heart of his bottom. Thanks also to everyone who supported the channel in other ways with super chat, super thanks or just by watching the videos and leaving your nob alone when the advert come on. See you on the next video. Oh, and I'm not wearing any panties.